I'm John. Oh. That's Selwyn. Here it comes. Oh, no, kill me. <laughs> and we're on a quest to find the ultimate pizza in Brew City. Join us as we travel throughout Milwaukee, tasting and reviewing the best pizzerias in town. Nice job. Uh, didn't get her number. Ah. From thin crust to deep dish, we leave no slice unturned in our pursuit of pizza perfection. Hey! That looks like a Picasso painting. You see that right here, John? What? When the pizza's what, actually like it? Nah, man. Hi, Mom. Hello, Yana. How are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I was wondering if I could borrow some money to buy some pizza. Oh, yeah, sure. How much? I don't know. Just like a thousand. Oh, no problem. I'll send it right to you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Let's be in, boys. Oh. You don't get that a lot with garlic knots. It's just either hard, overdone. The best thing that a garlic knot could be is moist. That's what you want. Yeah, it looks like an artist made this. This is absolutely incredible. You couldn't get this from a Pizza Hut. I feel rich eating this. Where's my food? Bro, what is oh. this? Like, this stuff, I don't know what that is. Is that hair? But this mm. tastes so good. Like, it tastes like it's actually seasoned. I've never had a seasoned pizza before. Yeah, it might be a type of leaf, probably basil you're looking at. Exactly. Might be basil yeah, what is, what is this? Is this like, like, what is that? I think that's all. Is that like grass? Like, what is this? Is it's this a part of a daisy? What is this? Uh -huh. Is that spinach? This is fine dining pizza. This is something. This is fine dining. That's a perfect way to describe it. You take your girl out and you still want to, you know, eat a little sloppy, not the most expensive thing oh on the menu. Oh my God. And the crust is, it's not too hard, but it's not soft either. It's literally quite perfect. I've never had pizza that, that tasted like grass. <laughs> it's really cool, bro. It's really good. The sauce is spread evenly over the pizza. There's no dry areas. A lot of detail and just overall attention put into the plate. I'm just gonna add just a little hot sauce. Now that looks like that one, yeah. That's too hot. Oh my God. Can't handle the key? Stay at the kitchen, folks. You heard it here first. You want some? Here it comes. Here it comes. No, 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 kill me. <laughs> uh. It totally took everything that was good from this pizza away. It completely ruined it. I don't know why I did that. My taste buds are severed, John. <laughs> I'll never forgive you. Um. <laughs> It's in a great location. Everybody here is cool. They got arcade games. They got a sign that's against racism. This is just an incredible experience. Mm, it's a little hot, but other than that, it's really good. <laughs> I'm still sweating. Bro, what's an artichoke? I think artichokes is uh, a plant type size, mostly uh, type leaf. Mostly used in dips, but you see it on pizza all the time. Some people would do it. That's this a chicken artichoke. That is something that I've never tasted in my entire life before. Oh, uh, you mind passing me my rich person water? Look at this, bro, what is this? I always drink out of tap water. I think I paid like five bucks for this. It tastes like tap water. I'm a Pepsi man, I can't. Oh, this yeah. place smells like cologne. I love it. Oh. The uh, crust is absolutely perfect. Oh my god. It's doughy, but not too doughy. Good. 
I like the cheese and the basil leaf that they have on here. Another just great, always addition to add to the pizza. I love bread. My first margarita pizza, very sweet. It's sweet, it tastes like sugar. It's like a sugar pizza, right? Mm -hmm. It tastes just like candy. Sweet and savory. You can see the consistency. This crust, no, that's an artichoke. What is that, an alien? Am I eating an alien right now? Something just happened. In my mouth. No. Scrumptiliumptious. No. Come on, put those balls in my hands. No. There we go. Both. Can I fit both of these in my mouth at the same time? I did. I'm going through. If things get hard to give up. I mean, you know what? I want the alien stuff. You want the alien, alien stuff? Alien pizza. You bring your girl here, she thinks that you're rich. That's what you gotta do to get a woman to like you. You gotta lie to her. You gotta bring her to an expensive place like this and basically pretend that you're something that you're not so she'll like you. It works in all the movies. It works in real life. It's a wise man right here. Look at what these guys did. These two guys over here are so nice. This place is so busy. It's in this fancy hotel. I feel so classy right now. And they are just the best servers and the best pizza creators that we have seen so far on this entire adventure. Does it make you feel better? Gross. Uh. You see that right here, John? What? When the pizza's what, actually fingernail? like it, nah, man. What about your finger now? When you the pizza's actually like this, that's how you know. You Ashy? got prime pizza right here. Actually, best pizza, okay. That was sweet. Mm. Sweet and savory. Especially goes with the sausage. Mm. That's sweet. It's sweet and a little, a little hint of spiciness. Like yeah. I was just saying. And I like, you know what? I do like thicker crust sometimes too. I'm not completely, you know, only for thin crust. Cause this is, Soft. this is something else. Again, it's it's in like the right level of doughiness mm -hmm. and readiness. It's not too much, but not too little. This is great. There's a lot of cheese. It's like I'm biting a sweet. cloud. Cheesy cloud. Mm. Ashy crust, you're right. Well, okay. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's hard to even just pick up. This mm -hmm. is like a pie. This is like an in-between, something that could be nearly like a deep dish. The family has only been nice to us. Such a kind, such a beautiful family. Most of the people that have been working here have been working here for decades. You don't see this at Papa John's. You don't see this at Pizza Hut or Toppers. This is something special. A real pizza made with love. Yeah, you, you can know. definitely taste the love and the appreciation in this. There's no hate. I've never had a pizza as sweet as this, and it's a good sweet. It's not bad at all. I can wow. get used to that kind of sweet. Mm. And it's just, I've it. never seen so much cheese and so many toppings on a pizza. Like that, that means a lot. Yeah. I wish I wasn't so stupid and I actually had like a good vocabulary <laughs> that was deep enough to actually describe how spectacular this pizza tastes because it's so unique. Exuberant. What is that? Amazing. Filled what with energy, that like filled with spiritual, just great, just. What is amazing? <laughs> Cameraman. When you're doing this kind of work, you gotta have a certain type of mental headspace. And you know what? There's one that always keeps me in the right headspace, dang it. No regrets. With this, you can't go wrong. Here today, we have this uh, cheese pizza. Hey! Bro, it didn't look at this. It landed perfectly. Look at this. Bring it, it down. Oh my God. It's a sign from God. Jesus is on our side. Look at it, it flipped. That's amazing. It did a 360 car wheel flip. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, let's get a taste of this. That's there we the go. Man. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's thin, but it's soft like a little blanket, like a pillow. Yeah. It's like a cheesy pillow I'm eating. Just christening the taste in. Mm. There's a lot of sauce on this. I love it. Mm. Oh. Did you taste the crust, man? 
it tastes like a cracker. Not really like a Ritz cracker at Lisa's, but something that's like expensive. It's, it looks like a tortilla. It's like they kind of baked the tortilla and then put sauce and cheese on it. Very good. I love the south side. Mm. I love the people around here. Gorgeous people, great scenery. Taste the community and the food. Oh, now this one, we're not gonna drop, all right? Oh, I hope not, John. <laughs> Tastes like pizza. You want a slice? Here, go get it. So this is something that I would give to my mother, <laughs> you know, on her birthday. Like, here you go, no money for you. Breakfast in bed. No hug for you. But pizza, I would give her pizza. Pizza in the card. Eh, no card. That's too much work. Oh, here we go. Whatever oh, that looks. looks good. Get a nice close up of this. Mmm. That's amazing. You can taste the chocolate powder melting in with the cheese. That's a, a delicious combination. This is popular in Italy. Yeah, is it now? Italians put lots of chocolate, cocoa, protein powder on their pizza all the time. I've never heard of this. Good. Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely. Nah. One time. Nah. <laughs> mm. Nah. Come down at Ned's where they got cocoa pizza for you guys. Sayonara. That's what I'm saying, protein powder on pizza? <laughs> Things, we got everything but fish pizza. And this is just remarkable, man. Like they put a lot of stuff on it, but you can taste everything in every bite that you have. Really fresh ingredients too, John. I think that's really who counts. That's so good. And this is like the end of the pizza right here. And there's, there's no crust, which I absolutely love. Every single inch of this pizza, there's flavor, there's texture, there's food. And it's not boring bread, but you know, appetizing things. Eight out of ten? Eight and a half? Eight point five? You're evil. Ten. You're evil. What do you think, hey, huh? what, this, this is amazing. I'll give it a time. Look, the location, the people, they've been so sweet to mm. us. And I'm going to have to take a double take, John. This is good. Look at the olives, you know? Like, eating an olive by itself is disgusting. I normally don't like olives on my pizza, actually. Exactly. This is... But they made it really good. And right? I've checked like, what, six slices of this? <laughs> How often do you eat tavern style pizza like this? Me, I never do, but this is amazing. I do, and it's really easy to mess it up. So it's nice that we get things like this, where it's mm. many different ways to eat it, guys. Or you can be sloppy like me. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on this. Just a little. Just a little? Just a little. Just a little. Salt's really good for you. You know that? Is it? Yeah, salt's really good for you. It's actually a conspiracy that salt is not good for you. It's really good. It helps with your arteries, and you can actually lose fat by ingesting more salt. It's great for water absorption. Mm. That's good. You want some? I'm on a salt diet, actually, John. I, you sure? My, it's just, it's just Come all on, to you my... gotta take a bite. Maybe it in a couple really of years. years. Sure, you, know, you, don't want you know, you gotta. Oh my god. You gotta take a bite. Well, I'm gonna take a nice little. Oh, mm. Amazing. That's bad. Why did we do that? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's a great description. Bro, whose phone is that? Look That's this, mine? Look at this pepperoni. 
I live right next to this place, but I've never been in it, which is kind of like interesting. Yeah. Like, but I see a lot of old people go in there, so I always knew that it was gonna be good. They do have, you know, a different kind of thing. When we walked in there, you you went in there to go tinkle. Yeah. The place looks glorious. The people were so kind. It has this amazing dim lit, just original pizzeria vibe, but very classy. Not, you know, too old, but very modern and just sleek. Robust. What? That's how I describe it. Well, we're gonna be eating this delicious pizza right now. Mm. Um, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yeah, man, y'all good? Mm. Y'all good? You want some? Pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, nice. this is Lisa's. Do you have to try it, like, on camera? Why not? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, t ah, tell us how it is. Here. You're good, you're good. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm here you go, here you go. Eat it. No, you need to try yeah, it. eat it. And then say if it's good or not. I've never had it before. This is a really good place. I think it's pretty good. It's good. It's, 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 it's thin. It's in style. It's salty. Yeah, it is. That's good. I like pizza. I know, right? I never have this. I just go to like Pizza Hut usually, you know, or Toppers. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing like, this pizza show and we're stopping yeah. by like these really good pizzerias and it's like, oh my God, this Lisa's is amazing. Pizza? Valid. Valid. How are you? Thanks, guys. Nice yeah. job. Uh, didn't get her number. Ah. Deja vu. Let's go get I her. I saw this in a dream years ago. I can tell the future deja vu. What do you mean deja vu? Right here, standing beside somebody with a black jacket on in front of this restaurant, I swear to God. Dude, it's synchronicity, bro. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not lying to you guys. Like, I'm, I'm not making this up for nothing. So what you're saying is that you had a deja vu years ago or what? Because I understand what a deja vu I had is. dreams where I see the future and I literally saw this exact moment. What? When? Like years ago, like I was like. Is it coming back? Yeah. Like, so wh when did this happen years ago? Like, I was probably like teenager or something. But like, and yeah. like when? Just like during like like a night. When well, night? Like I saw this random. Yeah, I saw this. Dude, I was, I've seen this all before. I saw it again. Wow, man, trippy. Spaceballs. Absolutely. Don't this looks exactly like Pizza the, space, the Hut. Pizza the Hut. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Savory, sweet, and tangy all at once. Very salty, which is good. I love salt. <laughs> Salt's great for you. Ten for sure. Ten for sure. Great location. I love the people in this area. It's right near the lake. It smells a little poopy right now. You know, but that's how it kind of smells around this time of year. But that's how you know the pizza place is good, is if it cancels out the smell. You can't even smell it. Yeah, either. yeah, you can't so smell I, any poop. I can, all I can smell is pizza. For that and the taste, I have to give it a 10 out of 10, too. I mean. How, how was this? You really liked it? More than I thought I would. Yeah, um, very sweet. I don't, I don't know like if it was hot. honey, but uh. I didn't taste too much of it being hot. Here, I'll taste some more, but it was deliciously sure. sweet. That's what I'm saying. Last time I had honey on a pizza was quite for a long those, time ago. For all those who are like, I don't like spicy stuff, I can't do spicy stuff, I don't oh do spicy God. stuff at all. And this was great. So I absolutely, I would recommend Mike's Hot Honey. You come down, down here to put on your pizza. I, I taste the hot in it. Yeah. That was interesting. I've it's never just had just the right amount of spice, not too hot. Not, you it know. came in afterwards, you know, it's, it's all honey. And then it's a little spice, not too much at all, especially for people that don't like that. A lot yeah. of people don't like to have their food too spicy. That was something really incredible, very unique. If you're a spice wimp like me, absolutely different <laughs> sauce for you. Long time. This ago. looks amazing. This is a great reintroduction, I'll say that, John. <laughs> Jeez. That's like lasagna. Almost. That is just so much cheese and so many toppings. This could be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This slice alone. Mm. Maybe even supper. Every inch of this pizza was definitely well-crafted. Like they made sure that every single square foot of this food was gonna be delicious. The mm. crust, so edible. Sauce evenly spread throughout the pizza, no dry spots. 
You don't see that often. I'm already full. <laughs> That's amazing. That that's a piece of artwork. I gotta put that on my Instagram. I gotta take a picture of this. That's amazing. And I gotta text one of my girlfriends. <laughs> Selwyn unfortunately passed away due to overexhaustion while working his four-hour shift at Culver's. Anyways. Now, we got the grandma pizza because of all the old people that exist in Greendale. Onions, green peppers, and sausage. Here we go. Let's see how it tastes. Hopefully not like an old person. It's all right. It doesn't taste like an old person at all. It actually tastes like a pizza. I'm ruining my O.J. Simpson gloves. Oh well. It tastes like a salad. I don't want green peppers. If I'm eating a pizza, I want it to be disgustingly unhealthy. If, I want, if I'm gonna eat something healthy, I might as well just drink like a kale smoothie. I don't know why they put the green peppers on. It tastes like cheese and sauce. I don't know if there's cheese in this. Do they put cheese in pizza? They do, but this place is very safe. We're not gonna get robbed eating pizza. Watch me get robbed. The management was so nice. The place is full of great people. They have lots of wrinkles and they look like they're about to die, but they're nice people. This place is a great restaurant to bring your family. Bring a date, I don't know about that, but a great place to have a family reunion or to not do anything fun. Am I doing a good pizza review right now? God, now I'm fat. Now I'm fat, I eat so much pizza, I'm fat. Uh. You want any cold pizza? Uh. Come and get some green pepper pizza. It's so cold. Who's paying for this, you or me? I'm not paying for this, I don't have money. Here, you wanna suck on my gloves and get the pizza juice that's on it? No. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are we doing? The people are looking at us like we're crazy. I'm starting to think that we are. Like imagine eating an art painting, this is what it would taste like. It's crunchy. It's not too thin, but it's not too thick. It's just right. Now I'm gonna get fat because I'm eating bread. Nobody's gonna like me because I'm gonna be fat. But it's worth it. This pizza is amazing. The pizza tastes delicious even though it's freezing cold because we're idiots and we ordered it way too early, but it came out very quickly. The ownership has been amazing to us so far. The ambience in here is just so desirable. If I could get a girl to go on a date with me, I would bring them here. Mm. This is high quality stuff right here. It's St. Jack's, I'll tell you that much. If I would have to rate it out of 10, I would give it a 10. I like any pizza. Jack's. If pizza was on the ground, it's great. It's amazing. Look, they even got a candle. This is some pretty serious, high quality stuff. If they got candles in their restaurant. Great place, easy parking. Look at that, they even got a cheese head. They got root beer. They got root beer, they got coffee, they got pizza, that's all you need. That's all you need to be happy in life. My goodness. How is it? You like it? Good, I bought it. But this is high quality stuff. Like, to have a real tomato on a pizza, it's something special. I feel healthy. And the water, if I would have to uh, give the water a rating, 10 out of 10. Best water I've ever had. Look at how much ice. This has been sitting here for hours and it's still full of ice. That 
that means that these people truly care about their customers. You wouldn't get this and say like, Little Caesar. All right, cool. Overall, a fantastic experience. I'll definitely be coming here again, hopefully with a date. Probably not. Cheers. Zafiro's was unmatched. Fixture was impeccable in every way. Filippo's could feed an entire village. Ned's had a perfect balance of flavors. Classic Slice was so savory. Transfer was beyond delicious. I didn't even know what an artichoke was, let alone it could taste great before visiting Proof Pizza. At night, before I go to bed, all I can think about is Lisa's Pizza. Ricardo's was yummy in my tummy, but they all paled in comparison to Little Caesars. This is for you, Salwin. I'll keep your girlfriend company.